and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. In today's video, like usual, I am sharing another backdrop. But this backdrop is not like a usual backdrop. Some of my backdrops, I don't plan ahead. It just happens. And this video, this backdrop is absolutely and totally unexpected. It just happened. I looked at things, I imagined in my head how it would look on a backdrop, and here you have it. Bam, a video for you guys. <laughs> sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. So if you want to see what I did, what I used, and how I did it, then stay tuned and uh, let's get to it. Let's go over all of these supplies that we would need for this DIY. I'm using this red yarn that I'm going to be making uh, tassels out of and I would need this cardboard square that is 4x4 four four inches and uh, I'll show you what you're gonna do with this. Also, I'm using these artificial flowers that I got at Walmart for 97 cents and I will be trying to use two uh, sets of flowers per half the styrofoam bowl. These styrofoam bowls are white, but I did spray paint them with gold spray paint. I already used these guys before, and if you want to see that video, I will link that video in the description down below, so go ahead and check it out. And also, you would need uh, some scissors. That's all, let's move on to this DIY. I want to start on tassels first to make your life easier and what I learned is to use this cardboard hack that everyone's using around me but I've never had a chance to try it out and I did try it and I love it. Cut a little opening in the corner of your cardboard piece. Go ahead and do the same thing across. Little cuts, just cuts on your sides, just like that. And one more on the other side. That's all you need to do with this square. Let's grab our yarn, inserting this yarn into your cuts. There you go. Cut, twisting your square, getting your yarn back again, and start putting yarn into your cuts. I found that to have a pretty nice tassel, I would need about 20 circles around my board. So counting, one, two, three, You know what? Let's make it 25. So five more. Yarn out of your cuts. And now you have this yarn right inside of your tassel. So it's perfect. So tie, double knot, triple knot, doesn't matter as long as it's staying together go into your yarn and cut it. We're almost done. Grab a little piece of this yarn. Lay your tassel on the floor or on a table. Um, currently I'm on the floor, so take your extra yarn that you just cut and tie from the top leaving about an inch of a space. In your tassel, you take your top yarn right here and you make a knot 
and now your tassel is ready. Let's go into our styrofoam bowls. So what I did here is I, I took a small piece of paper and I hot glue it to my styrofoam bowl. That way we can hang these balls to our backdrop with a pin with a pearl on top. I'm taking my artificial flowers and I'm carefully taking all of the flowers from the stem. You can cut them, but I want to reuse these flowers for one more video, so I'm being really careful with these flowers. What I love about styrofoam bowls that you can uh, push these flowers in and you don't have to use any glue or anything like that. So I'm taking two flowers and inserting them mostly from the top, pushing them in adding more flowers until all of the flowers are uh, placed on the styrofoam bowl. Pretty good. Now I'm going back to my flowers and I'm taking a couple of the greenery that is on the stems and I'm inserting them, just pushing them into my flowers to give more greenery and more color. Going to our tassels, I found that it's a lot easier to hang your tassels when your styrofoam ball is already attached to your backdrop. So let's uh, put the styrofoam ball on our backdrop and I'll show you how to attach the tassels. And that's where this piece of paper comes in handy and it's gonna help for our styrofoam ball to stay in place. So you take your pin with a pearl on top, you go into your paper, just like that, grab fabric, Go into the fabric with your pin and go back. Just like that. Push it in. And here you have your styrofoam ball hanging on the backdrop. For your tassels, I took my tassel, one pin with the pearl on top. I inserted my pin into that knot that I have right on top. When underneath the flowers, and press that needle into my styrofoam ball. And I did the same thing with my second tassel. I'm going to repeat the same thing with my remaining half uh, styrofoam balls and we'll see how many halves I used. And yeah, let's go. I pre-made all of my styrofoam balls, now it's time to attach them to my backdrop. what I have for you guys today. Super adorable. I love how it looks. The red, gold, and white flowers. I love it so much. It reminds me of wedding for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because of the flowers. They're really, really delicate and tiny. Maybe that, but it reminds me of the wedding. <laughs> I ended up using three small half styrofoam balls, seven medium half styrofoam balls, and five large size half star from balls. I will try to find every single supply and list it in my description and down below for you guys. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. I also have this uh, tool over here. As you can see, you don't have to have this tool. 
I just, um, like I said in my previous video, I'm feeling lazy to take this down. It's been here for a, f for a few videos now and I just don't mind the tool to be here. I will play with some uplighting and I will share some of the pictures at the end of this video. Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my unexpected backdrop that just kind of happened today and very quick for like two hours and I was done with it. Not gonna lie, not every backdrop come to me so fast and so quick. Some of the backdrops I need to plan ahead and it would take me sometimes weeks to get all of the things, prepare all the things, film and share it with you guys. So please Stay patient. The military backdrop is coming. I'm still waiting on one thing in the mail and it's hopefully it's going to be out first thing on Tuesday. So stay patient. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or you want to ask me a question, a personal question, question about my channel, a journey on YouTube and all that stuff, then don't forget to leave it in the comments down below. I would love to film a Q&A for you guys so you, you guys, my subscribers, will get to know me better. All right, if you're here for the first time and you enjoy what you see, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and the rest of your week, and I will see you back on Tuesday. Bye.